Hey guys, Sarah Cray here, and I would like to show you how I like to do a pretty quick um, willow tree. I'm going to list all the supplies that I'm using down in the description, but please know that you can use whatever supplies you have. I'm a huge believer in using what you got and just making it work. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with using kind of like a medium sized round brush and I'm going to pick up some green. And then using the side of it, I'm going to create kind of roundish shapes. And I'm not going to go all the way down there, kind of more like this curved stroke. And then I'm going to take my mop brush, three quarter inch, make sure it's dry. And I'm just going to swipe down. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing, except I'm going to pick up a darker green. So this is still wet or damp from our first one. That's okay. I'm just going to kind of do another and notice that I'm kind of starting to do like the bottom area of these kind of roundish shapes. This is what is going to give our tree a feel of depth and form. Okay. Same thing. Take my mop brush, make sure it's dry. Swoop. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing except an even darker green if, I, if you can get that. And you'll see here I kind of really make a muddy mess on my palette, but that way I get some pretty unique colors. And then really kind of underneath what we have going on here. I'm just going to kind of follow the edges a little bit. You can do a couple drops, maybe in the middle. And notice that instead of doing thick brush, brush strokes like I did on that first one, these are kind of more dashes. And this is where I'm going to start thinking about the overall shape of my tree. And I'm just going to smear it. Okay, and now I want to start thinking about the overall shape. I do feel like I have some depth and volume here, but maybe along here, I kind of that smear again, and you can do this as many times as you want. Now what I do want to get more of a feel of is I feel like willows kind of really drip down on some of the areas. And right here you can see that it's all kind of stopping at the same edge. And I need to kind of create a more inconsistent line. So I'm going to do that. Add a little bit here, here, here. Grab your mop, swipe, swipe. There we go. I feel like I need to have a little bit more in the front. Take your mop, swipe. Oh, I got a rogue. Whenever that happens, sometimes when you swipe, you'll get a really long area where you're just like, oh, that doesn't really fit. Um, I don't stress about those. I, I let them be. This is a very loose painting anyway. And then now I'm going to put in my trunk. So I'm going to get some brown. You can use the round brush that you were using. You can use a smaller brush, whatever you want. And I'm going to really try and hide behind a lot of what I painted. So if this is kind of like the width of my tree, I feel like my trunk would start maybe about here. But remember, when it comes to tree trunks, like they're, they come all unique. So don't feel like there has to be a recipe for it. I kind of just do it by feel and then make adjustments as I go. So if that's my trunk, let's say I have a branch peeking through here. And if this were to keep on going, where would these kind of end up? And whenever there's kind of like a lighter space, 
Maybe there's a hint of branch here. Maybe we can see one peeking through the layers there. You can even have one coming out here and you can do as much or as little detail as you want when it comes to this. I usually try and add like a darker value on areas where it's just peeking out. And again, I'm, I'm actually not really looking at a picture of a willow tree right now. So like maybe the tree shapes are very different than what I'm actually painting, but. Okay. And then now that I've thickened this trunk so much, this branch now feels maybe a little bit too narrow. So kind of where it would come out of the tree, I'm thickening it a bit more. And now to kind of give us our finishing details to finish this off, I'm gonna use, you can use any detail brush, I'm using a quarter inch dagger. And we can do these kind of dots. Mm, not dots, because they're not round, they're kind of more like dashes. Think about the little individual leaves and while we wouldn't really be able to see that across the whole thing, maybe on some of them kind of just coming out. And this is where you can maybe um, separate this a little bit. You also can pick this up using like a magic eraser, lightening it, but I'm just gonna leave it. Again, this is more like a loose inter interpretation And then I'm noticing that this is feeling very even. You see how I have marks, 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 marks. And I just want to mess that up a bit. It got a little bit too patterny and even. So I'm just going to soften that up. And you don't have to do this kind of detail edge part if you don't want to. Okay, I kind of like how warm that green is. Let's see if we can bring that to some of these other areas. And then if this is really bothering you, let's see, I'm just gonna show you what it would be like if we try and clean it up. So I'm gonna rinse my brush completely. Make sure you're using clean water and your brush is clean. And I'm just gonna put clean water on that area. Let that sit for a second. Let's see what happens if we try and lift it. So I'm kind of gently rubbing the paper. You don't want to do it hard because you could end up like breaking the paper and making it pill. Okay, that lined it. That's pretty good. And then one last thing, I'm kind of noticing this edge right here where a willow tree, I feel like it would kind of drape down a little bit. So you can put that in just with some strokes, or if you just want to wet the area and then take your mop and smear it. And that, my friends, is how we do a simple, fast, loose willow tree. I hope you try it, I hope you love it, I hope you have fun with it, and I hope you make it yours. Thanks, bye.